Russian commanders mock foreign mercenaries and send them to certain death. The famous Serbian war criminal, Dejan Berik, who in 2014 helped the Russians occupy the Crimea and then was a sniper in the Donbass, became the cause of a huge scandal in the Russian Federation. He said that Russian commanders mock foreign mercenaries and send them to certain death. However, this situation is not limited to the Serbs. Now, citizens of Nepal, Syria, Cuba and other countries are being massively recruited into the ranks of the occupation army and they are being disposed of in Ukraine without regret, writes Oboz.ua. The Russian army is rocked by scandals day after day. This time, Serbian mercenaries rebelled. They reported a bestial attitude on the part of the Russian command and, in particular, the officers of the 119th Parachute Regiment of the Russian Armed Forces. The mercenaries fighting against the Ukrainians suddenly realized that they were being used as cannon fodder. It all started with the fact that before the battle, the Serbs were given two to three machine gun horns. The Serbs who refused to go into battle were accused of treason, beaten, expelled from dugouts and deprived of access to the kitchen. The Serbs agreed with Kadyrov's men that they would take them in, but in the end, the transition never took place. The Serbs, of course, cannot return to their homeland. They face prison for mercenarism. However, more and more often foreigners who previously believed the promises are fleeing from the Russian army. So now, Ta Nikolos Jackson, who serves under a contract in the 27th Separate Guards Sevastopol Motorized Rifle Brigade, is on the wanted list in Russia. The military unit is located in the village of Mosrentgen near Moscow. The brigade is part of the 1st Guards Tank Army of the Western Military District, which is participating in the war against Ukraine. The orientation states that the serviceman left his place of duty without permission and is capable of deception. A reward is promised for his capture. According to the Ukrainian Center for National Resistance, the Russians are now intensively looking for mercenaries in Africa to participate in the criminal war.